Grow. Grow. Come on. Grow. Come on. Grow. Hey guys, always gotta start off with the lawn. Just uh, still looking really, really good. The temperatures are dropping, so it's looking good. Time for today's project. Got my best threads on here. Hair's not done yet, it's early morning, but uh, I'm not gonna get all dressed up for uh, doing some yard work here. Uh, but today's project, I'm gonna put new seed down. And the first step is I'm gonna clear all this out make it all nice and neat, take all the rocks out. Uh, this rock border that I was doing before, because I had a different plan before, I was going to put some granulated uh, um, quartz, I believe it is, it's called. Uh, but I was going to put that down here, but since that grass up there turned out so well, um, I want to put grass down here. So the first step is, like I said, i got to clear this all out. And then I'm going to show you how I did the sprinkler system up top, but I want to do one down here. And that's my sprinkler slash drip system system that I've uh, done. It's unconventional, but it works for me for small areas like this. And then uh, once that's done, I'm gonna put this. I gotta make sure this is uh, at least two inches, you know, um, stirred up. I don't want to put any soil or anything. I'm trying to save cost. Um, and then uh, put the seed down, and I'm gonna do that by hand because it's a small area. Even though I got the spreaders now, um, I want to make sure none of it gets in the in these uh, none of the seed gets in these uh, beds here because I don't want obviously I don't want anything to germinate in here. Uh, but yeah, I want I'm gonna put the seed down and then I'm gonna put a top coat to make sure the birds don't get it. And uh, let's get started. And this part will be uh, fast forwarded because you don't want to watch me four hours doing this and then. Uh, you guys are gonna get bored. So it'll be uh, fast forwarded through the cleanup and then I'll stop and I'll talk to you guys some more and then I'll take you through the drip system and then I'll fast forward some of that and then I'll uh, lay down the seed. I'll show you how I'm doing that and then obviously fast forward through that a little bit and then I'll put, we'll put the top coat down and, and that'll be it. So let's get it done. That's it there for the the rock border. But I still have to clean up all this stuff. That's uh, crab grass, I believe. I hate that stuff. It just gets everywhere. But yeah, let's get the rake and start raking some of this up. I got everything uh, finally cleared off. All the weeds are gone. These rocks are just everywhere. But uh, I'll just try to take out some of the bigger ones and, and then uh, that's it. And then I'm going to try to break some of this up, I mean, right in here uh, because it's not level. So I want to try to level it out as much as I can. 
just using a rake and just uh, a lot of hard work. I know there's probably easier ways to do this, but this is what I got. I don't want to go rent anything, so just a little bit of hard work and uh, a rake, and I'll be leveling this out. As you can tell, it's already looking a whole lot better. And then I'll be back and show you how I do the sprinkler system. Shower time. Lunchtime. Everyone, it's time to do the sprinklers for the bottom area. So I'm going to take this black pipe and uh, hook it to here for a third uh, for a third line. And I'm going to have to get a different timer here uh, that maybe has three, or just get a whole new one just separately for that area down there. And if you're wondering, this uh, cover here is because the sun beats down on that and I don't want that to get ruined. So I'm going to run that pipe along the house and all the way down, down there to the bottom area so I can add my sprinklers like I did here to this top area. And uh, when I get down there, I'll start the camera back up. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. I hooked up a timer, a spare timer I had. But uh, I ran a tube, another tube all the way down, so now I got three of them going along the house. Along the house, all the way this way. I buried underneath the bark, underneath the steps here, and over here is the heaven. If you can see it there, I still haven't uh, uh, buried it there. I buried it over here, went all the way around, and then I went that way, along the fence. Uh, let me take you down there. As you can see, the, the pipe is going down this way. And I cut it off right, right here. Um, but the second one that I had was coming down, and it goes that way uh, to the other side, and then swings back around, swings back around, and goes down and waters all the plants down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it off right here, or cut it right here. So. That one section only come, it comes around the house, down here, waters this bed, the bed across, the other bed, and then this bed here. And then that would be it. And that's quite a few plants already there. So I'm going to cut it off uh, right here. Uh, yep, right about there. Make sure that it cuts straight. I'm going to have to cap that off there. Let's see. Uh, I'll leave a little bit of slack there. Cut off the tube that I just ran. Hopefully you guys can follow this. If you got any questions, just let me know. And then to connect the two, I bought this little piece here, which goes right in there. I 
we're trying to do this one handed. Let's see if I can. Okay, so that goes right in there. And then that connects. Make sure I'm connected to the right one. Oh, I got extra here. <laughs> okay, then that goes to right here. Okay, so that seals that spot there, as you can see. So now I got that. And now for the old tubing that's coming around, I have it going around this way, along this back side here. I'm gonna have to move it to the front side so I can add the sprinklers here for the, for the new lawn. Okay, let me get to that. And then uh, as soon as I start adding the sprinklers, I'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, a little update how it's going. I had to rip all this out uh, because all the little punctures in it that I did for all these little, uh, for all the plants, there was way too many holes and there were, uh, there's way too many holes in these and just they were placed wrong. Uh, so I had to use a lot of cord, a lot of small, uh, small tubing to make it work. So I decided to just, I had enough of this black tubing, so I just ripped it all out and, and redid it. So here's update of what's been done so far. Like I said, it all the way around the house. Um, I put the two together here. Uh, I ran it down this way. Uh, then I had a, a, um, a connection here that went three ways. Uh, one went all the way around, all the way around, and stopped at the very end. And then I put another two-piece uh, two connection there. And then I went all the way on the front of the beds to here, and I put a cap. And I'll run the sprinklers off of that. Uh, I'm not worried about hiding this too much because the grass will cover it. And then uh, another one on this side um, with another cap on that side. And I'll run the sprinklers every, I don't know, uh, four feet or so. And I'll see the coverage on that. Uh, but yeah, it's an update. And I'm going to start installing the sprinklers right now. And all they are is these little sticks here. And that one has the little uh, tip on it already. Um, I might have to change that. I'm not sure which one that is. That might be a, a just a 90 degree, but that actually might work for now. But I need this. You need uh, a little puncture tool of some sort to put a hole in the tube. The small tubing. Uh, this one is brown. I use black up on top, but uh, the brown uh, blends in a little bit better. So I got that. Uh, and I think that's all I need. So the first one I'm going to run, I'm just going to put it here in the corner. There's my tube, or my uh, sprinkler. And all you do is, oh, I need one more piece of that. I also need this little piece here. And all you do is, if you don't know how to do this, uh, it's really simple. You take your small tubing and you shove this in the end. wet it's a little bit easier but and then you take your little tool and you put a little hole in it let's see about like that see that's the runoff I did because it was uh before I put those caps on the end I ran water through it to make sure there was no dirt in there uh, but then you poke it then you got running out of there you take your little sprinkler head that has a little spot there and uh, jam that to the ground take your scissors 
leave a little bit of slack so I can move it if I need to. Um, I'll put that right there. You put that in the ground. get these all all done I'll redirect them to make sure they uh, have open coverage and this whole area is getting wet and that's about it um, I'm gonna install all those and then I'll come back and test them and then I think we might be ready for seed and then once we put the seed down we'll put the top coat and we are done this project has been uh, a lot more involved than I had hoped but it's gonna look amazing when done and when to have some green beautiful grass like we have up on top can't wait till this is all done in this in the grass is growing okay I'll be back when it's all done and we, we can test them out to make sure it's all getting wet and then we'll get on with the seed hey guys I'm gonna turn these on test them out um, I ran out of uh, these sprinklers, so I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some more, but uh, show sure these. How those sprinklers do a pretty good job. That one in the corner, I'm not sure what's going on with that. It must be uh, plugged. Be a piece of whatever in there, so I gotta take that off and uh, rinse it out. Um, but yeah, there you go. I'm gonna finish these up. I'm gonna go to the store, get some more, and then when I come back, I'm gonna do the seed. Sorry, guys, I know this is a long video, uh, but I'm taking you step by step on each uh, each step I do. And this has been a, a two-day project so far. Not because it takes so long, but just because, uh, you know, it's a weekend, you know, got family things to do. I gotta spend some time with family. Can't spend all my time out here in the yard. But yeah, I'll finish this stuff up. If you like the video so far, please uh, give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that bell so you get uh, plenty more of these videos. And uh, give me a comment, tell me, you, uh, what video you want to see next, uh, what part of the yard that I haven't mentioned yet that you want to know about. So guys, there you have it. They're all, all the sprinklers are in. Uh, grass seed. Oh man. There's all the grass seed there. It's time to uh, put the grass seed down. Finally. This has taken me uh, all day to put the sprinklers down, and I'm still not done. I still got to put the sprinklers back on these uh, fruit trees, olive tree, but uh, let's get started on this. Uh, I'm going to place you guys back over here while I spread the seed out. I'm going to do it all by hand because I want to make sure none of it goes in these beds and the spreader fertilizer and all that goes over there no problem but uh seed hey guys i'm gonna start 
And if it's too thick, I'm gonna rake it out later anyway, so it's no problem. I've never done this before, so if you guys have any comments of how it could have been done better, shoot me a, a, a comment there. Those guys are gonna do the whole lawn, you know, just uh, even coverage, nothing like uh, if you can see this, even coverage. Nothing, uh, no clumps or anything, because I know that I've heard um, that won't work. Just uh, even coverage, and if I gotta reseed later on, well then we can do that later. Hey guys, I got the grass evenly sprayed if you can tell that and now I'm going to rake it in lightly hey guys I got it all raked in remember when you put the, when you use the rake you're not no pressure just uh, you know just you're just sliding it back and forth just to just bury the seed just a little bit and then end up using all of this and I had just a little bit left so I put it up on top um, just to see if anything happens um, and some of the bare spots. Uh, but I want to point out, I also put down some fertilizer to spread some of this, some of this out, and we'll see if that works or not. Uh, but now I got to put the top coat on, and I'm doing all this by hand. It's just you know, it's a small area. I mean, it's not big or anything. I know I'm supposed to roll it now, I'm supposed to roll it down, but I don't have a roller, so I'm going to leave it as is. I just uh, raked it in as much as I could. I'm sure there's uh, most of it uh, has contact with the dirt and I don't have to jam it in there. So uh, now I'm going to use the um, get the top coat. And these are the bags I got here. Seed cover and mulch. So let's take one of the bags down and uh, see how they look. Rip this open. Rip it open over here so it's less work. Man, I'm doing this all by hand. I need to get a tripod or something for. Uh, I'll show you guys better. You guys are getting sick right now. The camera's going everywhere. Want to tear this open? But there it is, right there. And just, just like that, all over the hole thing okay uh, again I'll be back when that's done hey guys just finished the top coat it's extremely dirty process but it's what had to be done so now I'm just gonna give it a good soak maybe that for about 30 minutes or so and then I uh, just make sure uh, I keep it wet so the first step was I raked it out and leveled it out with the existing dirt that I had. Then I put the seed down and I raked that in. And then I put some fertilizer and I raked that in. And then I put this top coat in. And it was all done by hand. I didn't use any tools. I mean, nothing other than a rake and a shovel, but that's about it. Everything else was done by hand. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to go in and uh, have dinner. Anyways, if you guys like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, um, and let all your friends know about this video. And I uh, hope you liked it. If you guys have any questions, just uh, comment below, and I'll answer them. Till next time.